Hey everyone, um, I'm back with a, a little haul post for you um, and this one is a nail polish, manicure, pedicure um, haul basically. Um, this, um, I'm going to do a full post on my blog to go with this so please check out my blog link below. Um, I put, I'm, although I'm trying to become a more prolific YouTuber I do post on my blog a lot more. Um, and this is just a haul of some things that I've picked up over the last probably month or so, um, nail and pedicure related. Um, I'm going to say in advance, some of the things in this post were magazine gifts. So like magazine cover mount freebies. Um, so you will probably won't be able to get those anymore, but it's worth showing you because the products are still available anyway. So I'm going to get started and I'll start off with just a plain nail polish haul. And a brand that I do actually really like and I've liked for some time is Nails Inc. Um, British bar brand, one of the largest nail bar chains in the world. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of Nails Inc. polishes. I do predominantly buy my Nails Inc. polishes from QVC because the deals are actually better. And sometimes you can get like a kit of six for like the price you'd pay for two or three and two on the high street. So, um, I got some Nails Inc. polishes. Now, I didn't actually get these from QVC. Um, I got this from a catalogue called Little Woods. Um, if, you have, if you're in the UK, Little Woods is one of a, big, a home, big home shopping group. Um, they own Very as well. Very's part of Little Woods as well. Very's the funkier little sister. Um, I've had a, me and my mum's had credit accounts with Little Woods for forever. Um, as I say, it's not the cheapest, it's always the cheapest way to buy something, but if, it's, if you can't really justify it at the time, it's maybe a way forward and it's a, yeah it's just a way forward and it's something you can do there and actually I really think catalogues are up in their game now generally um and Little Woods does actually a good range of cosmetics and beauty products now um and I bought this polish from Nails Inc and I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this wiggle 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 it's glitter really so I think it's kind of reflecting back um, and what it is it is one of their special effects top coats and it is in exhibition road and basically it's sort of gold lilac and silver circles suspended in a clear polish and I've got to say I love these bottles from Nails Inc these are the new bottles I think majority of their polishes are now coming like this and basically you get the silver cap nice chunky silver cap which is nice and easy to hold the bottles are easy to hold and then you take it off and you've got a twist off cap below um i've read a few reviews on qvc and i can't paint with that big chunky lid because you take it off you pull it off it does takes a bit of a pull but you do you are supposed to pull it off it's like chanel sometimes it's easy to pull the lid off anyway this is what i got um it was actually special i think it was about 12 pounds or something and catalogues being more expensive anyway um i didn't think this was bad because the top coats are actually more bigger more expensive i thought that'd be nice for christmas and it's a nice color and it's got the lilac in i'm a bit of a purple fan the main reason however that i bought it was at the time they did it all doing a promotion when you bought certain nails ink polishes it was mainly special fx top coats some of the more expensive ones you got a free little mini kit and this is what it was and they were selling this at the time i think they were selling this for about 25 30 pounds on its own i'm sorry i'll take them out of the plastic so you can see a bit better now it's got four four mil bottles in and i thought what well, for why not may as well get the freebie um and the colors are i mean i don't know where it's going to tell me where the colors are it's not it's, does it tell me on the box does it tell me on the box does it tell me on the box no it doesn't seem to tell me on the box either well that's a lot of good Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Right, this one is Basil Street. This is a colour I own in a full size. It's just a basic nude. Very shiny bottles, playing havoc with the camera and reflection. Um, what else have we got? This one is Uptown. So a nice nude neutral wearable pink. This one is St. James, which is one of their best-selling reds. It's actually quite a corally red. I think I've got the full size of that as well. I love little bottles because they're a great way to try a new colour and it's also a good chance to try a colour you want. No, I can't read this one. Victoria. It had to be Victoria. It's a, It looks quite black, but it's actually a really dark red. Um, yeah, so I thought it was kind of worth buying that polish just to get the freebies. Um, I don't think the offer's on, on, unfortunately, but it's worth having a look. Um, 
as I say, and if you are a catalogue customer, sometimes they do send you really good offers. I've had one recently and it's £20 off when you spend 50 type of thing. So it's worth having a look. Big fan. Right, we'll stick to nail zinc and I'm now this was in InStyle magazine. This was a freebie with InStyle magazine a couple of months a month or so ago. So again, sorry it's not I don't think this is available anymore. But I mean to be honest, when they do special polishes for magazine inserts, um nail sync, I've noticed that you can normally find some in the normal range. And I've definitely got a colour like this if I haven't got one already. But um it's that sort of corally orangey red that is ideal for your toes and in the summer um yeah as i say nice day today it was horrible yesterday it rained and rained and rained and rained i seriously think summer is just about over we've had a couple of days in the uk and that was it um and this shade is called love will tear us apart um by um which i don't know if you'll know if you're mere babes little girl little girls and so on who are a lot younger than me um love will tear us apart was part love love will tear us apart that would be a different song entirely love will tear us apart is a song by joy division um i loved joy division um they were they were before my time but um um i watched the film 24 hour party people with steve coogan and i just got the soundtrack and i fell in love with sort of joy division happy mondays all things like that it was very much the sort of melancholy era of that time um but well hacienda and things like that very good um a part of my youth that was a lot younger i'm a lot too young for but joy division love joy division um yeah <laughs> so anyway love will tear us apart this was it's like a corally orangey color as i say there are a few different shades like this in the um nails ink collection full time so yeah that right what next we'll go to another magazine freebie and this was with marie claire and it is uh, it was a mini put again horrendous reflection because of the packaging i'll take these out so you can see them better um again um magazine freebie this is siati i pronounce it siati i've heard it pronounced a few different ways but i say siati um so yeah this was a duo and you got a mini polish and i think you get a top we've got a top coat as well so i'll show you the colors better there were quite a few to choose from i've got a lot of i got one of the crt advent calendars a few years ago so i have a lot of crt colors um yeah a lot of crts um this one is strawberry milkshake oh come on focus 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 oh it's shown up a little bit paler actually than it is in real life but it's like a really pale baby pink um i have mixed experiences with these colors because sometimes the uh, creams you, you, they streak horrendously um so i'm hoping that one won't and you get the speed dry top coat as well they are what's the size of bottles they're five mil bottles um as i say it's Seattle is a brand. I do like some of the polishes, but some I haven't had the best of experiences with. Um, yeah, and obviously their, their treatment of bloggers in the past hasn't always been the best. But um, yeah, Seattle, as I say, I want a lot of their polishes. Um, and as I say, I love mini polishes. I think mini polishes are really good for travel, for trying something new. Or even if you don't wear nail polish that often, because sometimes a bottle of nail polish, polish lasts forever even if you do paint your nails on a regular basis so mini ones are just as good if you don't paint them that often so if you're ever in a magazine it's always worth trying like for a new brand as well something else that got in a magazine i'm going to check to see which magazine this came in because i can't remember yeah i'm thinking to you can tell I take a lot of photos. There it is. And this came with Red. Now, actually, I just subscribed to Red magazine, but with the, with the subscriber deal that I got, you don't get the freebies. And to be honest, I was thought, oh, should I buy it, should I not? And I, and I thought, I haven't really tried Jessica polishes that much. So this came, I think, was last month's issue of Red. And as I say, I haven't tried a lot of Jessica polishes, so I thought, oh, well, I may as well. I was get, I was waiting for a burst, I was in boots, and I was looking at the magazines, and I thought, mm, I'll just get it, because it's something to read on the way home. And, yeah, I got it, and it came with a free full-size polish, and this is called Floating Beauty by Jessica. Ooh, there we go, there we go, wrong way. 
again as I say this is totally bleaching out any colour that I'm showing it it's a lot more vibrant in the flesh and hopefully I'll be able to replicate that on my blog better um, it's a really hot pink it's a hot pink it's the perfect tall colour for summer again um, all this is about toe colours I'm obsessed with painting my toenails at the moment as you can see my fingernails are bay but um, I have been painting my toenails quite a bit lately and that's a really nice colour for toes right 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 right, 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 right. next we'll move on to Avon um, these polishes have been in the Avon catalogue for a little while um, they're in the sale catalogue they came out about Christmas time and I only managed to get one before they disappeared from the catalogue um, but ever since they've occasionally popped up in the sale brochures um, and I've got a few of them, they're really nice. They're sort of a demi-matte, so you've got the sparkle from the glitter, but they're not that shiny. Um, and this one is Avon Stardust Nail Enamel in Teal Glitter. And I think that says it exactly. Again, I'm going to wiggle it around a bit to see if you can see better. Yeah, so that's that's that, Avon Nail Enamel in Teal Glitter. Um, yeah. I really like these. Um, they're doing something in the current collection that's quite similar, but I like the bottles. They're a bit awkward to store, but I do like the bottles. So, yeah, please I got that. Um, also from Avon, it's not specifically a manicure thing, but it's it's actually a pedicure thing, and it is the Avon Footworks Beautiful Aloe Pedi Peel Pads. Now I still have a pot of these that are half a pot of these that I got ages and ages and ages ago, and then they discontinued them. So I tried to sort of use them a bit more sparingly. And what it is, um, it's basically they're just full of like AHAs and alpha hydroxy, alpha, is it alpha hydroxy acids? I think that's what they're full of. And basically you put them on your feet and they really help get rid of your dry skin. Um, it's sealed, I'll open it anyway. Yeah, they smell exactly the same as they ever did so they've just changed the package. So that's, that's what they look like. And you just basically rub the pad over the sole of your feet, let it soak in, and they really help minimise the dryness. Um, because of my thyroid, I get very dry feet. Um, but I I'm one of these people, I suffer from really hot feet as well. My feet are either one extreme, they're either ice cold and stiff, or they're absolutely burning hot. Um, so I'm not, I can't really wear, I can't, some people wear, say, slag their feet in, cream, feet in cream and wear bed socks all night. I can't do that. I've got to have my feet free. So I either put cream on when I've come out the shower and, you know, wander around the house in socks and cream for a while. Or um, I just don't bother. I'm quite lazy. Um, and I shouldn't be. And I, these are really good. These really helped in the past and they just kept the dryness especially down on the heels. And it also immediately soaks in and makes them look a bit more presentable. So that's what they are. Um, you get 55 pads. You usually need what, a couple of pads per foot. Um, I've got big feet. I take a size 8 UK, so I've got quite big feet. Um, yeah, so they are actually really nice. I think these are a couple of pounds, but they're new in the back in the catalogue again. And if you suffer from really, really dry feet or you just want something to relieve some dryness, then definitely recommend them. Also recommend them for your elbows as well. If you suffer from dry elbows, thoroughly recommend those. Right, that was Avon. Where we'll go next? We'll go, right, I'll go to the, what, another one of high-end purchases. Many moons ago on my blog, I reviewed a nail file. Not the most important, interesting things to um, review, but once tried, never gone back. Um, and it is the Leighton Denny Crystal file. I'll show you a bit more close up later because this is a special one. And I absolutely love it. Um, my nails are, I think it's basically it's my medication, a combination of illness and medication. They'll either be stupidly long and strong or they'll just snap off because they're too hard or they'll just start to peel away in layers that happens quite a lot and I get the peel away in layers and before you know it you've got no nail left um, and majority of nail files I found were just too rough for my nails they made them peel they just made them tear off they weren't good they weren't good at all um, I found a couple odd one or two um, that you know I thought were okay but um, then I watched a demonstration with Leighton Danny on QVC and he was showing the crystal file and you know and he was just filing away backwards and forwards and I was like hmm because I, I, I when I file with a normal file I am so tempted to just you know all over the place but I didn't I try not to but um, with the, these files you can just file in any direction they have a lifetime guarantee 
providing you don't sit on them and that's what I did with one of mine so I thought it needed replacing. Now this is a limited edition one, it comes in a case which I would thoroughly recommend if yours doesn't come in a case please get a case for it. Now something that I've found does work is a travel toothbrush holder um, that's about the right size for the large one or even the smaller one um, so put it in somewhere and put it in a safe place don't leave it lying on the chair or on the settee because you'll end up doing what I did and sit on it and although it still works it's in two pieces so um, yeah so this is what it looks like this one came in a case as I say this one's a special edition these aren't cheap but I think they are a real investment piece and you, these do actually have a surface lifetime guarantee for the surface um, and this one as you can see here, I don't know how well you can see that, I don't know how well you can see that at all, focus, 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 right, as you can see it's got a Swarovski crystal tin on and it was to celebrate Leighton Denny's 10th anniversary on QVC and I have actually used this, sorry, but that's what they are, they're basically crystal, um, some of them are glass and the glass ones aren't quite as good, I find the glass ones a bit rougher but this is just ridiculously smooth, ridiculously smooth um, you think how on earth is that going to work but it does and it's the best thing ever for my nails my nails don't feel worse when I've filed them, they're actually just, you know, they're good investment purchase but I would thoroughly recommend this I know a few people say don't like the idea of it for whatever reason a bit like, some, like the nails scraping on a blackboard get past that buy one of these you will not be disappointed right two more things both from eBay um haven't been on is it on eBay as much well I have actually I've been buying some things for my mum for her birthday got some gorgeous earrings oh I'll, I'll, I might try and show you them when they come um, really ridiculously cheap. Anyway, eBay. I bought a couple of um, nail things from eBay and I bought something else which I don't know where I've put. Right, there's something missing here from this post. Um, read the blog post below. Read the blog, that's all I can say. It's basically some nail charms from I got from Poundland and some other things that I got from Poundland that aren't in this haul. They'll be in the post so read below because I've brought them in and I, now I can't seem to find them which is really clever of me. Anyway, so we'll finish with two eBay things and the Poundland things will be in the post. Um, right, I'm totally lost off now. Right, the first of all was this. Now you can't really say it, it's... I don't know what language it's in anyway. But it's just white liquid and no, it's not polished. What it actually is, is what you... The, if you do a nail artwork or you're just a really clumsy nail painter, Paint this stuff around your cuticles and what it does, it dries and provides a film. It's basically, I think, and it smells like it's PVA glue. That's what it smells like. And you know what that's like when you did when you were in school, peeling it all off your hands. Um, so yeah, that's what I think that is. Um, but you just peel around your cuticles and you let it dry and then you paint your nails as normal. And what happens, instead of going on your cuticles and your fingers, um, or the excess actually sticks to this, so all you do when it's completely your nails are dry and everything's dry, you just peel it off like you would a PVA glue. Um, it's also a lot of, I've seen a lot of people use it for stamper with stamper and water marbling and things. So there's less clean up. Um, I haven't actually tried this yet because my nails are quite short, so I haven't managed to do anything vaguely interesting. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, I got it from eBay. The seller will be in my post below. Um, right, what else? Right, um, final thing is something from eBay um, and if you went, read one of my recent empties posts on, on my blog you'll have seen the rose version of this and it's for cuticle oil. Basically, I'm not even going to show you a close up because my nail, my, it's not so much my nails are dry, it's the skin around my nails, my cuticles, I've got hang nails and I don't bite them so they're not in a good state. Um, so I'm just lashing, chucking as much cuticle oil on as I can and I've just finished one from I got it, originally got it from eBay. I got it for a holiday, if I remember rightly. And it was just a safe way of carrying cuticle oil. And what they are is just the basic oil pens. Twist it and out it comes. Um, I got this from eBay. This was 99 pence, including shipping. And it's actually quite good. This is the lavender fragrance one. The packaging reports that it's from OPI. Um, it's not. I've never seen it. I've been an OPI fan for about 10 years, 11 years, maybe even, actually probably even more than that and I've never seen a product like this in the OPI line. Um, the only one they do is very different and it's for the Avaplex so I've never seen one like this but it doesn't matter, it's 
it fills the purpose and it's 99 pence. In fact, sometimes they don't even use, uh, the last one didn't wasn't even advertised as being OPI, so whether it's just been fake marketing that. They come in a wide variety of smell scents. This one's supposedly lavender, but to make it smells like a cross between lavender and sort of bubblegum scented rubber. Um, I've got some, I'm a huge fan of Melissa shoes and it smells a bit like that rather than lavender. But um, it's very nice, you just twist it, just twist it, dab it on, leave it for a minute, a minute or two and then just rub it in. Um, it's As I say, I'm not sure the contents of it. Um, it says there's panthenol, vitamins and minerals, but I've got no idea. I can't prove that or disprove that. Um, I can't actually find... Oh, there is some ingredients on it. Grapeseed oil, it says. So, could be grapeseed oil, could just be mineral oil. But it softens and that's the main thing. And for a pound, I'm not really going to complain. Oof, that's really annoyed me that I've left that pound and stuff in the other room. Um, what it basically was, it was just some gold and silver nail charms just to stick on the nails. And it was some Minnie Mouse uh, nail stickers. But as I say, it will be in the post, which I'll link below. So sorry about that. Um, my head is really not with it today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. As I say, read the accompanying blog post, please. All this, You'll see all this in better as I say better colours because as I say it's just too bright in here today but thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe um I love your comments I have been trying to remember to approve comments because they're still unapproved I'm afraid I've had too many nasty comments in the past not to like go free um but I really do appreciate any of you that do comment so as I say subscribe follow check my blog out and yeah that's about it so thanks for watching and I will see you soon with a new video which will either be another un um it will probably be um the Laura Geller kit review that I wanted to show you that's what it'll probably be so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye